Cape Swoosh Productions presents, in association with WMSC 90.3 FM, The Long Halloween, a radio noir. Written by Jeff Loeb. Adapted by Rob Dickerson with Jeremy Doyle. I believe in Gotham City, Mr. Falcone. I only came here tonight out of respect for my parents who knew your family. Your father was more than just a friend to my father, Bruce. That was a long time ago. Everything around me is a lie. Carmine the Roman Falcone, Gotham City's untouchable crime lord, is throwing a society wedding for his nephew, Johnny Vitti. It seems like only yesterday when the Roman tried to have a hired knife slid between his nephew's ribs. Johnny was going to tell everything he knew about Falcone to a grand jury. Extortion, corruption, murder, all of it. But Johnny never testified. He's getting married instead, with the Roman paying for all of it. All of it. You have so many new friends since my father, Mr. Falcone. So many wealthy, influential new friends. Isn't that Richard Daniel from the Gotham City Bank out there? I'm a very lucky man. Richard tells me the bank is open to doing business with Falcone Imports. I'm counting on you, Bruce, to be as accommodating. Don't. I won't vote for or influence the board on your behalf, regardless of whatever position you've gotten Richard to take. That's... disappointing. Well, life is made up of little disappointments, Mr. Falcone. It's what makes what we do so... challenging. Perhaps I could, uh, encourage Mr. Wayne like the others. I don't think that will be necessary, Milo. Richard has assured me that we have enough votes, although Bruce Wayne would certainly have clinched it for us. Do you need any help? Or were you just listening at my father's keyhole? Alberto Falcone, Harvard MBA, Oxford Road Scholar, the good son. I went looking for the washroom and I guess I got turned around. Too much champagne will do that, you know. Down the hall to your right, Mr. Wayne. Very special night. Particularly the cannoli. It's hot. Even for June. Years from now when people are talking about the weather, they'll say, It's hot, but not as hot as the night Johnny Vitti got married. Hello, Selena. Care to dance, Bruce? Selena Kyle. Suddenly, leaving has lost its urgency. Just look at my sister out there, smiling like the cat about to eat the canary. If anything ever happens to me, Alberto, tell the cops not to look any further than your Aunt Carla Vitti in Chicago. (laughs) Don't talk like that, Papa. Nothing is going to happen to you. Although, you should know that I saw Bruce Wayne snooping around. Alberto, Alberto, Alberto. Good-looking boy like yourself should be chasing after some nice, pretty girl in the wedding. Not worrying about things that don't concern you. But I want to help! Mr. Falcone, you might want to take a look at the security monitors. Dent. Yes, sir. He's sneaking around the parking garage. Take care of it. You know, Harvey... If you had any sense at all, which you don't, you'd be at home with the air conditioner on enjoying a bottle of beer. But no. You've got to spend the hottest night of the year in a huge parking garage, writing down license plate numbers for every crook at the cesspool of a... (coughs) Stick in your nose where it ain't welcome again, then. One of these days, you'll stick it in too far and... I might have to visit that pretty wife of yours. Bastard. Mr. Dent, are you okay? Miss Kyle and I were just leaving when luckily we heard you. Hope I didn't spoil your evening. I guess that's the same as thanks- No. Really. You society types go ahead and do whatever it is you do. The rest of us will take care of what needs to be done. And what needs to be done? You wouldn't understand, Wayne. Good night, Miss Kyle. And, um, thanks for making sure I didn't need help. I've, uh, contributed to his campaign for district attorney. I believe in Harvey Dent.
Of course I know how late it is, Barbara. I'm packing up now. I love you too, dear. No, that's okay. Let the boy sleep. I'll see you soon. Captain Gordon. Who? Harvey. God, man, you look like you've been hit by a truck. Got anything to drink, Jim? I could really use a stiff one. I, um, went over to the Falcone wedding. Guess I wasn't on the guest list. Harvey, we've talked about this. We've talked about taking needless chances. And Falcone has us outmanned, outgunned, and outclassed. How are we ever going to take him down, Jim? I have a friend who wants to help. Come up to the roof with me. Hello, conspicuous mafia safe. Let's see what Falcone treasures you have inside. I was wondering who left the window open. That... I don't have time for this. <clears throat> My business here this evening does not involve you. Funny. I don't believe you. <clears throat> you should. Then... let go of me. Take him down. Now look what you've done. Enough! In my own home, where my children sleep, on my nephew's wedding day. Milo, my most trusted friend, surely you have an explanation for this. Ugh. Catwoman and Batman. <laughs> you know, there was a time, Carmine, when this would have never, ever happened. You're not getting too old, are you? Enough, Sal. Milo. Get Mr. Maroney here a drink. The rest of you, spread the word. One million dollars for either of them. The bat or the cat. For a man who claimed to have no business with me, you're certainly going out of your way to have business with me. Catwoman, what are you doing at Falcone's? Nope, that would be telling. And the last thing I would want to do is make it easy for you. Catwoman! Gone. I wonder if it's true what they say about nine lives. After tonight, she'll need all of them. How much longer do we wait by the bat signal? As long as it takes. Hmm. <laughs> Must be hell on a marriage. Barbara understands. Why, you and Gilda having problems? It's nothing. That can't be handled. Uh, suppose we wait here all night and he doesn't show up? Gentlemen. District Attorney Harvey Dent, this is... Bats. Dent. Well, I don't have to be a detective to see you two already know of each other. I've come to appreciate our mutual friend. And how he crosses a line we can't. It's still a line. And people who live in glass houses shouldn't blah, blah, blah. Given the lateness of the hour, the condition of your clothes, Dent, you've both been working on the Roman case again. <laughs> the Roman. The man's name is Carmine Falcone. He's a man. Just like any other, except he puts himself above the law. That doesn't mean he is. Oh, really? Then go arrest him, Captain. I've got files full of unsolved robberies, hijackings, murders, with his name all over them. His money buys the cops, the witnesses, the judges. In what way isn't the Roman above the law? We can all talk around it, but we know what needs to be done. I want to be clear on this. In our zeal to bring Falcone to justice, I'll let you bend the rules, but we cannot break them. Otherwise, how are we different from him? Of course. Bats? Batman, I have to have your word. I made a promise on my parents' graves. I would not rest until Gotham City was washed clean of the evil that took their lives. There could be no compromises, and yet... Agreed. Gone. He does that. Annoying, isn't it? You know, there was a time when I suspected you were the Batman. <laughs> Sorry, I'm quite happy with who I am. Wait, what's this? Was was this book here before? No, Batman must have left it. 
It's Falcone's... Harvey. This is a ledger. With dates and dollar amounts. I believe in Jim Gordon. Everyone in this room knows where the Falcone family comes from. Gambling, racketeering, drugs. For us to even consider doing business with them. Bruce! Bruce! Bruce. You're making pretty wild accusations about Carmine Falcone. I only know the man to be in the importing and exporting of Italian shoes. I've even got a pair of them on right now, and they're extremely comfortable. Business is business, and this bank could use the millions Falcone Imports wants to bring here. I believe the majority of the board is in agreement with me. Dirty money. That he wants to launder here. I will not, cannot allow this to happen. Honey, hurry along. The reservation is in half an hour, and we still have to pick up the opera tickets at the box office. Richard Daniel, the Falcone money? Keep it out of Gotham City Bank. Marte, I want this little bank rat dead! I warned you, Falcone. Ever since Richard Daniel resigned last month, no bank in Gotham will touch us. My family alone has millions sitting- Shut up, Maroney! If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Carmine. Listen, big brother. We're getting choked here. The other families are looking at you sideways. Star City, Metropolis, and Chicago. Pop, there might be a way to- Alberto, please. We're talking business. Carla, where's that nephew of mine? Two months that kid's been in Italy on his honeymoon. I want Johnny here now! All I'm saying, Barbara, is that I'm sorry we didn't get to go away all summer. But now it's October and it's cooling off. Maybe we'll see a drop in the crime rate and... Get that, will you? Why? We both know it's for you. Nobody ever calls for me. Gordon here. Oh, dear Lord. No. No, I'll call Harvey. Harvey? Harvey, are you down there? What's up? Jim Gordon just called. Richard Daniel has been murdered. I I'm scared, Harvey. I'm scared that some night the phone is going to ring and, and, and it'll be someone calling to tell me that you... that you... Hey, shh, Gilda. Shh. Johnny Vitti, two shots to the head. You ask me, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. District Attorney Dent. I don't want to hear that kind of talk coming from you. Privately or publicly. If we can, let's not lose focus here. A 22 caliber handgun was left at the scene. The handle taped, the serial number filed off, leaving the gun a stone-cold trail like the killer wanted. A professional or someone who knew what they were doing. A baby bottle nipple for a silencer? Cheap, but effective. And don't forget the pumpkin. Happy Halloween, Johnny Beatty. Now bang, you're dead. Who has the stones to whack Falcone's nephew? Maroni? Maybe? Carla Vitti out to start a gang war? You don't think she'd kill her own son, do you, Batman? Batman? I think he left. Damn it. Curiosity killed the cat. But satisfaction brought her back. You knew I'd see you spying on us. What is it you want this time? I don't want to help. But... I might be able to be helpful. And in return? Maybe. Someday. I'll need help. And you can return the favor. 
No promises. I'll take that chance. Now, listen carefully. Halloween night in Gotham City. Follow the money. That's how Catwoman began. Seems Falcone hasn't been able to launder his cash for a while now. He's been forced to stockpile it. This had better pay off. I promised Gilda I'd hand out candy to the neighborhood kids. Why would Catwoman help us? Not sure. Other than it's in her interest for the Romans' attention to be focused elsewhere. Well, if she's right, we're about to give Falcone 10 or 20 million other things to think about. Boy, you know if we were two other guys in a room with a mountain of untraceable cash... We're not. Yeah, but I was just thinking how easy... Don't. I know, I know. Okay, then. We've been trying to hurt Falcone. Human life means nothing to him, but this, this is gonna be a Halloween he isn't going to forget. Wow, think we used enough gasoline there, Bats? Kids. You guys get plenty of candy? Thank you! <laughs> There's a smile I haven't seen in a while. Somebody have a good day? This was a night to remember, Mrs. Dent. Good. I was hoping we could make it a night to remember too, Mr. Dent. Let me just open the mail and... What's this package? It's so heavy. Thanksgiving night in Gotham City. On Halloween, someone blew up Harvey and Gilda Dent's home. That someone is Mickey Sullivan. Mickey runs a small-time operation with the subtle name, The Irish. Danny Boy Sullivan, his older brother, Jimmy Slick, Dapper Kevin, Willie Two Times, all of them downstairs in a holding cell, with Mickey upstairs in Jim Gordon's office. Harvey Dent is dead. We know you did it, Mickey but we also know you're nothing but a little fish. And the only thing little fish are good for is catching bigger fish. Fish? We want to know who hired you to do the job, Mickey. Now, if you help us, maybe we can help you. I don't want to be here. My wife is home making a turkey and stuffing, and that's where decent, honest people should be on this day. But justice doesn't have a calendar, Mickey. If you don't tell us who paid you to kill Gotham City's district attorney... I'm going to miss that Thanksgiving dinner. Well, then I guess you'll be missing your Thanksgiving boil. Because I don't know Carmine Falcone. Never even heard of... What do you call him? The Roman. You made the bomb that blew up Dent's house. This nail was part of that bomb. Every nail has a serial number like a gun. We traced it to the manufacturer what hardware store it was sold to, a hardware store two blocks from your apartment. We have the receipt. You bought those nails. Harvey Dent. Tisn't like I didn't have it coming. Even if it weren't me doing the deed, there was a line around the block to do it anyway. You bought those nails. You knew I would find you. It was only a matter of time. You found me. Like you said, I did the deed. That's what you want me to say, right? And I'll put it in right and boy, oh, but make no mistake. We all know what Dent's gone and done. What? What are you saying, Mickey? Exactly. Only that you've got to be asking yourselves. Who killed Johnny Vady? We're done with you, Mickey. Get out of here. Do you think there was anything to what he was saying? This isn't the first time I've heard... That Harvey Dent put two bullets in the Roman's nephew's skull? I can't believe that. I won't believe that, and neither should you. Why would Mickey confess and not implicate the Roman? He's looking at the gas chamber. He's scared. Not of me, not of you, but of someone very powerful. I don't know what to make of this. But anyway, the guards are about to make the switch with Mickey. Should be in the cell any minute now. Ah, 
a little sugar, some fresh tomatoes, and then you add the sausage. We got a lot to be thankful for, Alberto. Like what, Carmine? My Johnny's in the ground. Tell me what I've got to be so damn thankful for. Carla, my dear sister, the matter is being handled. What, the DA? You don't think this was all the work of little Harvey Dent? I said it was being handled, Carla, and I don't like repeating myself. Now come on, it's Thanksgiving. No more business. This wasn't business, Carmine. Johnny was my only son, my baby. All righty, you lads know what to do. Everybody admits to his part and we get a nice payday in Vile. Five confessions, including Mickey. Rehearsed, clean, whatever the Roman is paying them, he's getting his money's worth. Bring Mickey back up. Anything? No. Balcone's name was never mentioned. Only thing we learned is, <coughs> I have the worst Irish accent you'll ever hear. Boyo. Do you think they suspected? That we switched Mickeys? You're giving them way too much credit. And I guess I'm not dead anymore. I don't know how you do it, Bats. Being two people at once. Assuming you are two people. So without a murder charge to spook the Irish with, I'm for letting them walk. We put the word on the street that they can cut a deal and see how the Roman reacts. We can still charge them. They confess to attempted murder. They blow up your house, put Gillard in the hospital for Christ's sake. They'll make bail in an hour. Bribe the judge, and we'll still have nothing. Charge them, Harvey. Or I'll find someone else in the DA's office who will. Harvey was wrong. They made bail in less than an hour. The Dents spent Thanksgiving together at Gotham City Memorial Hospital. Gordon went home late, and I finished my patrol past the Astoria Towers Hotel. I couldn't help but wonder, with the Romans' grip getting tighter on Gotham, will there be anything to be thankful for in the coming year? Ladies, as we spend this Thanksgiving eating and drinking our fill at this lovely hotel, I raise my glass to the Roman, the flippin' founder of the feast. What the? In the red, glistening, a beautiful sight, and we're happy tonight. Walking in the Joker's Wonderland. <laughs> I hate that song. How then he slithered and he slunk with a smile most unpleasant. Around the whole room and took every present. The one speck of food that was left in the house was a crumb even too small for a mouse. Oh, don't worry, folks. I'm in such a Christmassy mood. I won't be feeding you to a pack of Dobermans that I have dressed up as reindeer. Well... Uh, Blitzen and Rudolph will be so disappointed. <laughs> because I've already made up my mind, Blitzen! But I will be taking all of these lovely Christmas presents. I mean, look at them all. What thoughtful parents you are. I can't wait to melt this Wonder Woman action figure. But if I had to choose a favorite, I would say it's probably the stocks and bond certificates that I found upstairs. I sure hope they weren't Little Sally's college funds. <laughs> well, sadly, though, I'm going to have to get going. So many lovely families to visit on this holiday season. <laughs> to the top of the porch and the top of the wall. Now dash away. Dash away. Dash away, y'all. <laughs>
Christmas Eve in Gotham City. A serial killer the newspapers have dubbed holidays on the loose. He, or she, has struck on Halloween and Thanksgiving. Holidays. And tomorrow is Christmas. Good. You're here. The Joker has escaped again. Attacked some family, took all their Christmas presents for God's sake. I know. You do? How? We just heard and... Never mind. So many are here in Arkham. Nearly double from when you first appeared. Not that there's a direct correlation, but... Do you give it any thought? No. Oh. I know what Gordon is implying. That my presence somehow attracts these men and women to my city. Jim Gordon is a good man. He and the police do the best they can with limited resources. But Gotham City needs Batman to protect her. From criminals such as Julian Gregory Day, the Calendar Man. I've spoken to the district attorney's office, Julian. And they're willing to commute your sentence to time served if you'll help us with these murders. Our feeling is that with your interest in committing crimes to coincide with the calendar, you might have some insight. Thirty days half September. April, June, and November. February has 28 alone. All the rest have 31. Except leap year. That's the time when February's days are 29. Tomorrow is the big day. She'll be killing again. What makes you think it's a woman? He likes it. The attention. No one knows who she is, and he's already made a name for himself. Or herself. You've been lucky so far in February, Lincoln's birthday, Washington's birthday, and President's Day. February? Surely we'll have caught the killer by then. Groundhog Day, Ash Wednesday, Secretary's Day. Let's go. Earth Day, Flag Day, Boxing Day, Hanukkah. Dents. It's gotta be Harvey Dents. I want somebody, and I mean somebody good, planted in the DA's office day and night. Already on it, Mr. Maroney. <laughs> I got a kid named Vernon. <laughs> What's so friggin' funny here? Hey! Care for some more wine, uh, Mr. Maroney? <laughs> the clown. No clown comes into my place and poisons my guys and- uh, uh, uh. Let's leave that gun in your coat. Besides, mine's bigger, Mr. Maroney. Or should I say holiday? Holiday? Me? <laughs> sure. You're the number two man in this burg. Carmine Falcone is numero uno. Holiday only whacks the Romans, men. And so, <laughs> I mean, you have the most to gain. No, wait. I swear on my mother's grave, at the end of the day, it's about business. And this whole holiday thing is screwing up business for everyone. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. Even to me. Then, who is Holiday? Jesus, toots, you've been putting on weight. All the better to sink you in the river with, I guess. Oh, enough with you freaks already. For a smart man, that was not a very bright move. What went on here tonight? That Joker clown. Ugh. Ugh. Came looking for Holiday. Why? What's his connection to Holiday? How should I know? He's a lunatic, like you. This whole town is full of lunatics ever since you came here. Harvey, now can I look? You've had me blindfolded the whole way here. Merry Christmas, Gilda. This house is everything you deserve. Oh. Whoa, slow down, honey. The doctor still wants you to take it easy. Doctors, what do they know? 
Oh, Harvey, can we really afford it? No, so I'll just have to work twice as hard. Welcome home, Mrs. Dent. Harvey, do you think starting over in a new house, maybe we could try again to have children? Well, why don't you have a look around upstairs? <laughs> All right, be right back. Oh, my sweet little top. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. <laughs> Get out. <coughs> you're good, Dent. But you're no Batman. <coughs> Question is, what sort of a man are you? This town isn't big enough for two homicidal maniacs. And if I find out that Buzz is true and that Harvey Dent is Holiday, well, <laughs> I won't be so forgiving next time. Get out of my house. Harvey? Oh, Harvey. Wakey, wakey. Falcone, how are you? Let me tell you a little secret. Either you find this holiday, or I'll kill every last person in Gotham until I find him. Bye-bye now. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. Laying his finger aside of his nose and gave a nod up the chimney heroes. <laughs> Where the hell did that clown go? Nobody threatens Mr. Falcone. Huh? New Year's Eve in Gotham City. A new year ahead and another holiday. Time to ring in the new year! Co-pilot, check. Navigator, check. Stewardess, check. All of them dead, check, check, check. Up, up and away, or whatever the Boy Scout says. I'm late. My informant was good, but not nearly soon enough. Joker's killed the ground crew, and from what I understand, he has only just begun. He's bent on using his deadly Joker gas in the crowd that gathers in Gotham Square at midnight. Something in his deranged mind can't handle what Holiday is doing to the city. He's flying low. Just low enough for my grapple gun. Set the car on autopilot. I'm going to stop the Joker, and I must. It has to be before midnight. Harvey, old man, if you had half a brain... You'd call it a night. Mr. Dent, I hope I'm not disturbing you. Working late again, Vernon. You'll never get ahead putting in all these extra hours. But you're working late, sir. You've been working late every night this week. Ever since I started here. See what I mean, Vernon? There's two ways of looking at everything. It's New Year's Eve, son. Time to go home and kiss the wife and hope that next year is better than this one has been. Yes, sir, but there's something here on the Roman case. I've been reading old police reports, and... I'm sure it can wait till next year, Vernon. Sir, this is important. I've found a connection. A link between Carmine Falcone and the billionaire Wayne family. I'm sorry, sir, it's late, but I thought you should be the first to know. The second, actually. Unfortunately, Bruce Wayne seems to have known about this for quite some time. What's wrong with this world? After all the aggravation that I went through to steal this crop duster, you'd think they'd give me one that would fly right. Ah! Dead weight! Put the plane down now! Maybe later! Joker! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Happy New Year, Salvador. Carmine. We've been rivals a long time, and you always come out on top. But if we don't find a way to put a stop to this holiday business, this New Year's party on your yacht is going to be our last. You know, Moroni, I appreciate your concern. 
It touches me, really, inside. And I've been thinking about this holiday, as the newspapers call him. Or her. Whatever. All I know is this Strons likes to hit members of my family. My business. There doesn't seem to be any blood on your side of the table. What are you saying, Falcone? Have a happy new year, Sal. You're right. It might be your last. Just like Papa. You keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Right, Carmine? The same can be said about me and you, Carla. Even if you are my only sister. Have you seen Alberto? It's nearly midnight. I saw him on the deck earlier. I need some air anyway. I'll tell your son you're looking for him. What a lovely nest of vipers I've surrounded myself with. If it weren't for Alberto, there'd be no one I could trust. Alberto? You out here? Yeah, I'm over... Sorry I'm late, honey. It's okay. You're just in time. Harv, your hair's all wet. It's been snowing. Oh. <laughs> well, come along. I've got a little... Surprise! Surprise! Happy New Year, Harv. The Gordons? I'll, uh, be in the kitchen. I'll, uh, go see if he needs any help. So, our daughter Babs is home with us for a school vacation. She's old enough to babysit so we could finally have a night out. Nice. This time of year seems more special with kids around. Where are you and Harvey in that department? I... I'm not sure anymore. I thought when we moved to this house, it would be a new start for us, but between this Roman case and the Joker and Holiday, whoever that is... Shh, honey, we, we promise no business for one night. Here, let's have a toast. Here's to next year, Gilda. May all your wishes come true. I hope so, Barbara. I really hope so. Ever stand in front of an open fridge, Jim? Looking for something that's staring you right in the face? What's happened, Harvey? We need to talk, Jim. We need to talk about Bruce Wayne. I don't know what you're so mad at me for! I'm trying to stop Holiday, just like you! By killing everyone in Gotham Square? Why not? I don't know who Holiday is. Do you know who Holiday is? The odds are, he might be in the crowd tonight, and... You're insane. <laughs> Has it really taken you this long to notice? Quick question, when the clock strikes 12, do I get a kiss? <laughs> I, I'll take that as a no! No, and I'm aiming this plane at the river. Get my security deposit back now. Cool. The new year. One where the promise I made to my parents, the promise to rid this city of the evil that took their lives, might finally be within reach. Dutch! Eel! Clear everybody out of here, now! Um, sir. Who the hell are you? City coroner. We, uh, found some personal effects on the body. I should warn you, the fish and the seagulls have been at him. Go back to your car. Now! <laughs> Captain Gordon, Mr. Dent, may I help you? It's cold. Could we do this inside? <clears throat> what the district attorney and I would like to know is, uh, is Mr. Wayne at home, Alfred? Unfortunately not. Though you're welcome to wait inside. Nice dump. You've never been out to Wayne Manor before? I got invited to one of his Halloween parties once, but <laughs> like I told Gilda, I'm not somebody who likes dressing up. 
even for billionaire Bruce Wayne. What a shame, Mr. Dent. Master Bruce's masquerades are often quite amusing. Sirs, with it being Valentine's Day, I feel I would be derelict in my duty if I did not point out that... Oh, how shall I put this? With someone of Master Bruce's popularity, he may not return for some time. Harvey, you want to come back later? Harvey? Nice painting. So these are Bruce's parents, huh? Say, um, uh, Alfred, is it? You wouldn't happen to remember somebody named Falcone dropping by, would you, to see Dr. Thomas Wayne? As I was saying, it being Valentine's Day, surely you must have other obligations. Captain Gordon, how is Mrs. Gordon? We have not seen her in some time. Barbara. Harvey, do you remember to get Gilda anything? No, and she's going to kill me. Alberto, my boy, this is the most exclusive cemetery in the state. The biggest monument in the place. And it's still not enough. Is it worth it? Who the- Is it? Is what worth it? The price. What the hell are you talking about? Your son. Alberto was never involved in my business. Either directly or indirectly. How many other innocent sons have you destroyed? Nobody, and I mean nobody, speaks to me this way. Hey! Catwoman. That's me. Every time I come near the Roman, you appear. Why? (laughs) You've been away. I guess it's the same as thanks for saving my life. You don't think I could have taken that little gun from that little man? Jealous. Oops. I cut your lip. Sorry. You should have stayed away. Selena, sorry I'm late. I I think we still have time to catch the opera. I got here as quickly as I could. Me too. Hmm. Cut yourself shaving, Bruce? You should have someone do that for you. Well, Alfred has offered more than once. He says you learn quite a few shaving tricks when you're trapped behind enemy lines in a special forces mission with only a dull straight razor to shave with. He's still bothered to shave? You have no idea how much he loves that mustache. One of my chemistry experiments burned it off when I was a kid, and he chased me around the manor with a cricket bat. Well, I think I meant someone with a more feminine touch. Would the gentleman care to buy the lady a rose? My tree. Selena. Well, these are lovely flowers, ma'am. Ow! Those thorns. This isn't your night for cuts. I am so sorry, the thorns. It's all right. I'm fine. Yes. Mr. Maroney, this money, it's too much. Nothing's too much for a friend of Sal Maroney. And you are my friend, aren't you, Vernon? Of course, Mr. Maroney, but... You got no date for Valentine's, Vern. Want to stay for dinner? Mr. Maroney, my employer, the district attorney, Mr. Dent, he's targeted you, sir. He believes you're the weak link in the Falcone organization. He does, does he? (laughs) Come on, Vernon. The veal. It is the best in the city. Mr. Maroney's gonna kill us if he finds us sitting in the car and not standing watch in front of the restaurant. You wanna stand outside and freeze your ass off? Be my guest. Way I figure it, Mr. Maroney got half a dozen more button men with him inside. After the Joker thing... Nobody's getting near the place. All I know is my gal didn't like it one bit when I told her I had to work tonight. Valentine's Day. Another holiday. Okay, genius. Who do you think the holiday killer is? No. No! 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 What's this here? A 22 and a box of freaking chocolates! Holiday. Okay, you want a war? I'll give you a war! Barbara, I I know I've told you too many times, but I love you and I'm sorry. I I, I got you these chocolates. Shh, it it can never be too many times. Uh, Harvey? What time is it? Sir. How did your meeting with Miss Kyle go, Master Bruce? 
I'll take it that it went rather well, then. Come to me. That's it. You know you can't resist poison ivy. <laughs> no man can. Open the gate! Early parole, eh? Bet you'll be right back in Gotham Penitentiary before my coffee's cold. I've missed you, Papa. You've been away too long, my daughter. The family needs you now. I need you. My Sophia. March. The monthly board meeting of the Gotham City Bank. I hear the words coming from my mouth. And yet it's... It's like someone else is speaking. And so, after giving the matter much consideration, I am now of the opinion that our former bank president, the late Richard Daniel, was correct. Falcone Imports should do business with Gotham City Bank, and Gotham City Bank should do business with Falcone Imports. I've given the go-ahead for a wire transfer of $350 million as requested by Carmine Falcone. Bruce, we're d delighted, of course. Uh, Falcone Imports is a huge account, but it's so unlike you to reverse your position. I've, uh, I've had a change of heart. How could they understand? My, my mind, my mind may be foggy, yet I, I'm at peace, lost, lost somewhere. Somewhere in the green. Bruce? Hello? It's me, Selena. He ignored me. Wait. Who's he getting in the car with? Ivy. Fantastic. We've got bodies piling up all over town. Maroney thinks Falcone is backing the holiday killer, so he takes it out on the Roman. The nice part about dealing with these guys, Jim, they all want to do our job for us. Our job? Our job doesn't include murder, Harvey. I want to stop Falcone and the rest, but not like this. Never like this. Of course. Bad joke. Don't give it a second thought. What do you want to do about Bruce Wayne? With what we suspect about his connection to the Roman, we could hurt them. Green. Huh? When I was a kid growing up in Chicago, we always looked forward to St. Patrick's Day. They would close the school so we could go downtown, see the parade. The city would turn the river green and we thought it was the work of leprechauns. St. Patrick's Day. We all think of green. Now it's red. Blood red. St. Patrick's Day is coming, and we're no closer to finding out who this madman holiday even is. What about Wayne? Take it slowly. Concentrate on Maroney. He's the weak link. Maroney and Wayne, two for one. I like it. Marte! Aunt Carla? Are you down here? I rang the bell and you didn't answer. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Sophia, baby. Your father didn't tell me you were coming home. I swear, I could kill that Carmine sometimes. See this gun? I've been practicing with it down here. It's a twenty-two. I forgot to give it to the cops when your brother... Poor little Alberto was shot on New Year's Eve. The same kind of gun was used to kill my Johnny on Halloween. I'm going to use this gun, Sophia. I'm going to get this Cafone holiday. Does my father know you have that? He does now, eh, Sophia? Aunt Carla, I was sent here out of respect. We're going to hit Sal Maroney on St. Patrick's Day morning. Papa believes that Maroney either is holiday or knows who it is. 
Will you come out against us? Now that Carmine is handling the bank situation, the money is flowing again. Things are as they should be. You have the full support of the Vitti family in Chicago. Wayne Manor. My father's house. Life is good. In the green. You still have a healthy appetite, Bruce. Hmm. <laughs> You'll need it for... Do you feel a draft? You are mine, Poison Ivy. All mine. Ah! You're like a weed that comes into someone else's yard. A weed that needs to be torn out by the roots. Stop! You've lost control, Wayne. Ivy's made you do things you wouldn't. Or shouldn't. Look at you. Covered in vines. Oh, hell. Ordinarily, I might enjoy giving the claws a workout. Green. Bruce. Ivy! Damn it, where did she go? Gone. Stop the car. This is one of Moroni's safe houses. I'll handle it. What the hell? Somebody already shot up all his boys! What's this? A leprechaun figurine? Someone beat us to the punch. This changes things. The bat signal's not a toy, Catwoman. Oh, I just couldn't resist seeing you tonight, I guess. Nevertheless, thank you. For what? Bruce Wayne is a friend. Oh. Why? Why do you help? In time. You'll see. I no longer am in the green. Poison Ivy is no longer in my system, but her spell made me do things that will have to be repaired. The bank, my reputation. I owe Catwoman much. Here's your money. Everyone was against this idea. We have sort of a policy of not working with your kind. If it hadn't been for Catwoman's unexpected interference, think of how much more we could have accomplished. Dr. Isley, if there's one thing I've learned in this business, it's to expect the unexpected. April Fool's Day. I have to analyze every possible clue and suspect to find Holiday before he strikes again. Across town, Carmine Falcone has brought in another freak to bolster his operation. A man who cannot resist a riddle. Who is... Holiday? It's a mystery. Broken into a jigsaw puzzle. Wrapped in a conundrum hidden in a Chinese box. Clues are left at the murder scene. These objects, easily obtainable at any five-and-dime store, were selected to represent the dates of the killings. A jack-o'-lantern for Halloween, a cornucopia for Thanksgiving, a snow globe for Christmas, a glass of champagne for New Year's Eve, a box of chocolates for Valentine's Day, a leprechaun figure for St. Patrick's Day, holidays like today, April Fool's Day. A riddle. A killer. Question. Why does Holiday always use the same weapon? Answer. He gets them wholesale. <laughs> or, let's be more practical. These pistols are 22 caliber, lightweight, easy on the hand, on the hand, perfect for a woman. A cat woman with a break-in last June. She had access to Mr. Falcone's safe and therefore the names of everyone in the Romans Empire. Add to that million-dollar bounty Mr. Falcone subsequently put on her head. Suddenly, her best defense is a good offense. Moroni. From the outset, the killing have always favored Sal the boss Moroni, Roman's chief rival for control of Gotham City. He weakens the Falcone family, growing bolder with each murder. Who else on New Year's Eve would shoot Falcone's own son in the back? Question. Why does the killer shoot Alberto Falcone? Anyway, answer. Because he can... I, um, no, I only meant... That Alberto wasn't in the family business, Mr. Falcone. Raising the issue, are all the killings somehow personal? Carla Vitti, Mr. Falcone's sister, her son, Johnny Vitti, was supposed to testify against Mr. Falcone to the grand jury. 
it's no secret how the Romans tried to get a hired knife slid between the nephew's ribs. Did Carla Vitti do the unthinkable? Did the mother kill her only son to hide her identity? Now, her own guilt masks her rage. She is free to attack anyone since no one will suspect her. She was there on New Year's Eve. Who else could have approached Alberto without him reacting? At this point, there's a little more than a son for a son. Moments later, she runs back into the scene, covering her tracks with a cry for help. If I may, sir, in all your theorizing, there is one person you have overlooked entirely. Julian Day. But according to Arkham Asylum's records, which could be altered, I suppose, the Calendar Man remains in their custody. It was not he to whom I was referring. I might point out that in one's quest for justice, I have seen someone even as sane as yourself behave in the most surprising ways. Captain Gordon told me how he showed up late on New Year's Eve. At Christmas, he could have followed the Joker from his home and killed Milo, the Roman's bodyguard. He left Wayne Manor on Valentine's Day with plenty of time to confront Moroni's men at the restaurant. What will you do now, sir? Pray I'm wrong. Harvey Dent. Bruce Wayne. You sure you want to go ahead on this? Arresting one of Gotham's most prominent citizens? No. But if Bruce Wayne is helping the Roman's Empire, then he deserves everything he's got coming to him. Mr. Nigma, I was told there was no riddle you could not solve. And yet, you have only put together one guess after another. If your life depended on it, and it does, with my daughter's sizable hands wrapped around your head, tell me, who is Holiday? Um, 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 uh, C- Carmen Falcon? Me? You? <laughs> Sophia, take Mr. Enigma out the side exit. Yes, Papa. And Sophia, come right back. Uh, uh, oh. When? When does a killer not kill? Mother's Day. It's May. You said you would have caught her by February. I know what we said. He's making quite a name for herself. Holiday. Soon the calendar man will be forgotten. Why? Why didn't she kill on April Fool's Day? We found- Twenty- Two caliber bullets in an outline around the Riddler. Perhaps he thought to take the date seriously. April Fools. No killing today. What do you know about Harvey Dent, the district attorney? He put you in here, didn't he? I know that he is a Gemini. He has a birthday coming up soon. Why do you ask? You know, don't you? Let me out. Let me out and I'll stop the killing. It's Mother's Day. Every son has a mother. Even you. Do you want blood on your hands on this day? Tell me what you know! Batman! Help! Escape! Level 4! His mother came to visit him. The terror in his voice. Only one man could be responsible. Happy Mother's Day. Straw. Jonathan Crane strangled his mother years ago. On Mother's Day. Someone else had a hand in this. Someone else brought him the straw, unleashing the scarecrow. Jonathan Crane. Psychologist turned psychopath. He preys on the innocent and instills them with fear. Not in my city. Not on this day. Scarecrow's <coughs> fear toxin should have ex- <coughs> expected. <coughs> should have held my breath. <coughs> Too late. At the risk of sounding redundant, Captain Gordon, Mr. Wayne is not at home. 
Mr. Pennyworth, you must know I don't want to be here. Certainly not under these circumstances. Is it not possible that this is some sort of terrible mistake? Mr. Wayne has no connection to this Falcone person. Then only by cooperating can we can we clear this whole thing up, Alfred. I understand what you are saying, Captain. But Master Bruce, he was very devoted to his mother. Surely you can imagine the private nature of what today must mean to him. Someone makes the guns Holiday uses. I know you work for the biggest gun maker in the business, but I don't know who he is. Give me a name. <coughs> Please, don't drop me in the river. I cannot swim. He goes by Gunsmith. Says once a month he makes a custom twenty-two pistol. An address. An address and I let you go. Chinatown. John's Tea House. Please, let me go. Sure. I'll let you go. Ah! Gunsmith's dead. 22 gun, I bet. And look, Mother's Day flowers. Pearls. I asked her to wear pearls that night. She told me the pearls were only for a special night. We were only going to the movies. The Grey Ghost Strikes Again was playing and Father and I just had to see it. A normal night out. Uh, Couldn't we make it special, Mother? Now I found myself at my parents' graves. But I'm also in the alley. The alley where... Fear talks. Whoa. What's, What's it doing to me? Mr. Wayne. Bruce. What do you want? He wants the pearls. Run, Mother! Run! Hold your fire. He'll never catch us. Bruce, running will only make things worse. We made it, Mother. We made it. Take it slow. Take it slow. No shots fired. Unless I give the command. Bruce. Bruce, come here. It's okay. He... He wanted the pearls. I remember my father. The phone would ring. There was a medical emergency somewhere. He had to go. He was needed. There was no choice, but one night, it was a knock at the door. I watched my father save that young man on our dining room table, hiding on the stairs where he and Alfred couldn't see me. I'd never seen my father at work. It was like, like magic. I realize now that the life my father saved was Carmine Falcone. For all the good he tried to bring to Gotham City, my father's actions resulted in me being here in a courtroom, my fate in the hands of the two men I've come to trust. Mr. Pennyworth, you still contend under oath that Thomas Wayne never accepted any form of payment from Don Vincent Falcone. Then explain to us the relationship that continues to this day between the sons, Carmine Falcone and your employer, Bruce Wayne. To my knowledge, they do not have one. Then please tell the grand jury, tell me why. Why didn't Thomas Wayne report the crime so that Luigi Moroni would be behind bars and this city wouldn't be in the grip of Carmine the Roman Falcone? Perhaps Dr. Wayne did file a report, but Gotham City was different back then. The police, even the district attorney's office, were rife with graft. Several months later, Dr. Wayne and his wife were murdered. The most decent people I have ever known, gunned down in these very streets. To this day, the killer has never been brought to justice. Perhaps Gotham City is not all that different. Carmine Falcone. I should have finished the job years ago. The rat takes five shots to the chest and still lives. Things would have been different. Because of this holiday goon, all my guys are dead. How do I fix this mess, Dad? You can act like a man. This is about Falcone. You gotta get the Roman before he gets you. When I retired, I left you in charge of the family for a reason. Prove me right. 
Papa. No! You bastard. I'll find you. You hear me? I'll find you. Thought you'd want to know. The jury acquitted Bruce Wayne. Took about a minute and a half. I have business to attend to, Sophia. I'll be back late. I, um... Here. Happy Father's Day. A tie. I appreciate the gesture. James, you awake, little man? <laughs> what you got there? You painted a tie for me. You and your mother. <laughs> Been busy, I see. Well, it's only the best Father's Day present a dad could get. You sleep tight, my son. Have good dreams. Harvey? Harvey, are you down there? I went to go see Dad. Oh, God. And? Still as crazy as ever. He gave me something, though, Gilda. What is it? This coin. When I was a kid, my dad would down most of a bottle of scotch when he got home from work. And that was before he went to the bar. Before he left for the night, he'd find some reason to be mad at me. Some way I'd failed or disappointed. And he'd pull out this coin. And he'd say, Well, Harv, I'll give you a fair chance. If it lands on heads, you catch a beating. Tails, and you don't. It always landed heads. Every night. And it was only today when he gave it to me that I see both sides are heads. I was so sure that Bruce Wayne was doing favors for the Falcone family. But a jury of my peers didn't agree with me. It's like they flipped a coin. Heads he wins, tails I lose. And Bruce Wayne... With all his money, his good family name goes back to the high society, leaving the rest of us to take care of what needs to be done. An old foundry off Gotham Central Park. On Mother's Day, Jonathan Crane, psychologist turned psychopath, escaped from Arkham Asylum, unleashing the scarecrow on my city. He did not do this alone. He had help. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for Batman and... Tea? Would you like some more tea? Jervis Tetch, delusional, schizophrenic, homicidal. The Mad Hatter. Pat a cake! Pat a cake! Baker's man! You could always have more! Gentlemen! I didn't go through the time and expense to assist in your early release from Arkham to hear you argue about cake and tea. We have business regarding the Gotham City Bank Depository. So if my father hadn't saved the Roman's life, all the lives, all the violence, how, how different Gotham would be. If I may, sir, your father would have done the same for anyone who came to the door. That was his way. But I can't help wondering what would have happened if... It was as fruitless as my wondering, had I been a different sort of father to you, how better your life might be, Master Bruce. I... I just miss him, Alfred. Is that so wrong? No. There is nothing wrong with that. You are very much your father's son. This had better be important, Vernon. Getting me out to the office in the middle of the night. Dents. 
It's plenty important. Maroney? You want a piece of me. We both want a piece of Falcone. Maybe it's time we found out what we can do for each other. The 4th of July. With Selena Kyle. Wayne Manor. My father's house. I've lived here nearly as long as he did, and yet... I find myself still thinking of it as... My father's house. Bruce? Why do you stay in Gotham City? After my parents' deaths, I left. But I was, um... I was drawn back. I made a promise to them. But of late, your... Episode with Poison Ivy. Harvey Dent accusing you of helping Falcone. What would it take to let go? Honestly? No, lie to me. I know places, Bruce. Things we could do. Together. Mm, like that. Look. The bat signal. Adds a somber note to the fireworks, I think. What would it take... To let go. I need to talk to you. Then talk. Remember the deal we made? You, me, Jim Gordon, right here to bring down the Roman? I do. Do you? I made a mistake going after Bruce Wayne. Why tell me? I just wanted you to know I make mistakes. I try not to make them twice, but after Maroney testifies against the Roman, it will finally be over. I think I want to take some time off, get out of this city for a while. And Holiday? He or she has struck again. Jim? Where? The docks. This time it was a civilian... city coroner. Uh, Mr. Maroney, you have a visitor. I don't want to see nobody. But... Hello, Sal. Vernon, go get a shoe shine. Does your father know you're here, Sophia? I went to prison for you, Sal. I didn't squawk. I didn't ask for anything in return. When the police came for me, I didn't name you. That's you. I gotta do what's right for me. I missed you, Sal. Every night I was away, I thought about you. Papa knows it was Dent who got you into this mess. Without Dent, everybody lays off. I know you'll do the right thing, Sal. Thanks. Why do you stay in Gotham City, Barbara? Can't you see what it does to people who live here? Jim's work, I guess. Gilda, you know what I mean. Harvey's just as devoted as Jim. Now with the baby, we're we're digging in. Digging into hell. When Harvey first started at the district attorney's office, they used to call him Apollo, the golden boy. He was so handsome, he could do no wrong. But every day, this Roman case, it's like it's eating him from the inside out. He's changing. Do you think it'll ever change, Barbara? Will I get my Harvey back? Oh, honey. It'll get better, it has to. They'll make it better. The killer stood here, fired twice at close range, left the gun in a Statue of Liberty miniature. Whoever Holiday is, he or she can always get up close, suggesting that the killer knows his or her victims. I've seen you get pretty close without anybody noticing. Why the coroner, Batman? All the other killings were Falcone related. Can anyone account for the whereabouts of Harvey Dent at the time of the killings? Harvey? Why? You don't think... That's odd. I thought all the city's fireworks were set off earlier. Just some kids, probably. Right, Batman? Batman? One of these days, I'm going to catch him leaving.
The walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. They wept like anything to see such quantities of sand. If seven maids with seven mops swept for half a year, do you suppose that they could get it clear? Hmm, I doubt it. The king was in the counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. When down came a blackbird. The money stays. You both go back to Arkham. Scarecrow and the Hatter. Up until now, I thought they were acting alone, helping each other. But lacing fireworks with fear toxin to neutralize the guards, robbing the Gotham Bank, taking every bag of money in the place. All this planning and cunning point to one man. The Roman. During the escape, I inhaled some of the Scarecrow's fear gas. My mind was violated. My childhood fears of my parents' murders overcame. I try not to enjoy breaking Crane's ribs. And thick and fast they came at last, and more and more and more. All hopping through the frothy waves and scrambling to the shore. Oh my paws and whiskers! <laughs> Sorry, it's the only line from Alice I remember. You've been following me. The police headquarters, on the docks. I love the fireworks. I like the Cheshire Cat. I like all this money that's just been sitting here. And you're still bad at saying thanks. I know places, Batman. Things only I could show you. The Roman orchestrated all of this. Do you want to help? That's not what I had in mind. Your loss. No. The price of independence. Please, tell me the truth. Are we having this discussion? I'm due in court in an hour, Gilda. What are you doing in the basement? I found something, Harvey, on your workbench. It's one of those guns, isn't it? Like the killer in the newspapers. Holiday. It's evidence. We're all working on this holiday thing. It has to stop. Harvey, I'm your wife. Talk to me. Since when do you bring evidence home from the office? What are you asking me? I'm the district attorney. I do it all the time. All the time? August 2nd. Holiday has been at it for nearly a year. Murders that coincide with holidays. Only once has a killer allowed someone to live on April Fool's Day. I thought you only came out at night, Bats. Where is he? Get out of my place. Wrong answer. The rest of you, leave. Uh, riddle. Riddle me this. Why is Batman like a rowboat? They both have a bow to take. <laughs> I've been looking for you, Riddler. What time is it when Batman finds your hideout? Time to get a new hideout. <laughs> On April Fool's Day. You saw him, didn't you? You saw Holiday. Yes. And no. You were outside the Roman's building. What did Falcone want with you? Good question. He asked me who Holiday was and didn't like my answers. Better question, why didn't Holiday kill me? Was it just an April Fool's gag, or...? Or the Roman wanted you to tell the world that he was looking for Holiday's identity. You're questioning me? Your behavior, Carmine. I'm questioning your behavior. You hired that Poison Ivy. The Riddler, the Scarecrow, the Mad Hatter. Freaks. Carla. You're my sister, and I love you, but never ask me to explain. Papa, Aunt Carla, they're ready. Happy birthday! What a surprise. Thank you, Sophia. Make a wish, Papa. What's the matter, Jimmy? Don't you trust me? No. M Mr. Maroney, I'm Vernon Fields. I, I work for Harvey Dent, the district attorney. Mr. Dent wanted me to give you something. What is that? Stomach stuff? <laughs> All of a sudden, Dent's worried about my ulcer. Fine. If you don't want it, Mr. Dent was only trying to... Yeah, fine. Give it here. Finally. 
The prosecution calls Salvatore Vincent Maroney, a.k.a. Sal the Boss, to the stand. In some ways, Harvey Dent has waited for this day his whole life. For in all the cases he has prosecuted, never has so much been at stake. Maroney's testimony and conviction will be the beginning of the end of the Roman Empire. And for the first time, perhaps ever, Gotham will be rid of an evil that has nearly choked the life out of it. Tell us about the Gazzo murders, Mr. Maroney. Yeah, I hid Mickey Gazzo and his brother Frankie. We tossed the bodies in the Gotham River. Lots of wise guys you're looking for at the bottom of the river. Maybe that's why I got an ulcer from the drinking water. Ulcer? Yeah, it's been killing me. Maybe I got a guilty conscience, huh, Dent? I ask you now, under oath, didn't you commit these murders and felonies under direct orders from Carmine the Roman Falcone? Falcone? <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Maroney. Oh, oh, oh. Something's wrong. I'll ask you again. One sec. <coughs> I got something right here. Ah! 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 You're dead, Dent. That stuff will eat through cement. Did you really think you had me? I'll never forget the sound of his screaming. Jim? Jim, why don't you have a seat? You've been standing by the window this whole time. There's nothing we could do until the doctor... Mrs. Dent, um, your husband, it's gone. No. No, he's gone. (coughs) Escaped. My God, this man's been stabbed with a scalpel. Okay, Mr. Soon-to-be-dead district attorney. Let's see what files you have on my Johnny's murder. I'll find this holiday if Carmine can't. Labor Day in Gotham City. Harvey Dent, the district attorney, has been missing for nearly a month. After the acid scarring, something happened. He stabbed his own surgeon and escaped. Despite all my efforts, I'm now afraid that Harvey Dent, my friend, is lost. Huh? What? What are you? Solomon Grundy. Oh, Never ask a question you don't want to know the answer to. Solomon Grundy. Oh, Christened. <clears throat> On a stark and stormy Tuesday. Grundy. Hmm. Married on a gray and grisly Wednesday. Ill on a mild and mellow Thursday. What's the rest of it? Worse on a bright and breezy Friday. Died on a gay and glorious Saturday. Buried on a baking, blistering Sunday. Hmm. Is it? Is that what you did? Did you die and come back? Can a man live two lives? A double life. Inside Harvey's briefcase, a 22 caliber handgun. Carmine Falcone's ledger, giving him access to all the holiday victims. They'll say he was obsessed with bringing the Roman down. That was his motive. God, Harvey dead. Holiday. How? How long have you known? How long? I don't believe that the man who stood on this roof, who made a promise, a bond with each of us, would cross that line. I won't believe it. What if you're too close to this situation? What if your judgment is impaired? What if you're wrong? What if I'm not? Fine, Harvey. You know what needs to be done. Ooh! You. Where is Dent? How the hell should I know? That maniac killed my sister, my nephew, and my son. Do you know what my people call this last year? The Long Halloween. Johnny Vitti, my nephew, 
was the first one to die. On Halloween night. It could have stopped there. But it didn't. And we both know why. You and the cops just let it continue because he was killing our people. My family. And you stand here and act like your hands are clean. Papa. Sophia, no. I... I thought I heard voices. It's all right. I just... stumbled. Wow. Why? Don't you ever say hello. I want the truth. All of it. Why is it that every time I confront the Roman, you show up or are watching from across the street? What connection do you two have? So, you want to trade secrets? This isn't the time for that schoolgirl act. I want the truth. You're hurting me. That's better. Maybe it's because the Roman treats the world like a ball of yarn. And you know how much cats like to unravel a ball of yarn. Maybe it's because whenever he's around, you're around. Maybe it's none of your damn business. Catwoman! How many of her lives has she used up since this whole nightmare began? Harvey? Harvey, is that you? Harvey, you've come back, you've come- Where's your husband, Mrs. Dent? You know we have to find him, don't you? We found a gun, a twenty-two in his briefcase with the serial numbers filed off. It's the same sort of weapon the Holiday Killer uses. He, he said he brought it home from the office. And the grooves of the vice on your husband's workbench. There are metal filings. Gun metal. Please, find him. Find my Harvey. Dave, tell me what you know. Thirty days half September. It's Labor Day, and he still eludes you, doesn't she? We know it was Dent. We don't know where he is. If you help us locate him... Dent. R. V. Dent. The Gemini. The district attorney. Just so we understand each other. The calendar man is being forgotten. I can't have that. It's Labor Day night. Only a few more hours before the holiday has passed. And you have something holiday wants. The calendar man thinks that Sal Maroney is the next holiday victim. I got word to Gordon. He reminded me that I'm heeding the advice of one madman in the hopes of catching another. But I have to find Harvey Dent. Maroney. What? We're moving you. Now, guard, cuff Mr. Maroney. What's this about? I take three slugs in the courtroom and I'm still here, right? You guys could learn a thing or two about killing somebody, you know. After what you did to Harvey Dent, I almost think we should let him have you. Almost. Dents. Coming after me? Is that why you're moving me? Let him come, the rat bastard. I am Holiday. Alberto Falcone? That can't be. You are shot. Nope. <laughs> Bastard. Drop it, Falcone. The guards? No! I shot you down with Maroney! Kevlar vest and ride helmet. More than enough to stop a 22 at close range. And disguise the fact that this was a trap. I've got the gun! Take him! Such a small gun. And he had caused so much destruction. Not unlike the gun that killed my parents. I suspected Harvey Dent, the district attorney. My friend, I was wrong. This is only the beginning, Alberto. Batman. <coughs> Enough. I won't let you do something we'll both regret. I made a promise to my parents to protect this city from the evil that took their lives. If I'm to succeed, I must be willing to deal out the punishment. The right punishment. Do what needs to be done, Jim. Alberto Falcone, you are under arrest for the murder of Salvatore Moroni. You have the right to remain silent. Days later, Alberto Falcone is holiday. 
He faked his own death on New Year's Eve to throw us off. Then he continued, undaunted, cherry-picking his father's enemies. In July, he killed a city coroner who must have known that the wrong body was in Alberto's grave. In August, he killed his Aunt Carla, who went looking into the coroner's files. I blame myself. I suspected Harvey Dent, the district attorney, my friend. But Alberto could not have done this alone. His father had to have known it was not his son in that grave. The Roman must have known. Welcome. You have a visitor. Holiday. My son. You need anything? I could get you a pair of those eyeglasses you like. The purple ones. No. I don't need anything. Thank you. I could get you out of here. You plead guilty to killing Maroney, and only Maroney. And I can fix everything else. Only if you let this other nonsense about Holiday go. Nonsense. Do you even know when my birthday is? I'll give you a hint. It falls on a holiday. Is it Christmas? New Year's? Father's Day? All right, let's just calm down. It's February 14th. Valentine's Day. Not that you would know, since you were too busy to attend. Every single year. I... I thought you understood. I do understand, Papa. It's why you sent me away to Oxford. You didn't want my help even when I offered. You didn't want me in the family business. You and your father and his father before that. You thought that Gotham City was synonymous with organized crime. But Gotham has changed. It doesn't want your kind anymore. Now look at me. I'm bigger than all of you put together. I am Holiday! Trick or treat! Here you go. There's plenty for everyone. Gilda! Barbara insisted that we, uh... <clears throat> she she wanted to take James out and show him all the, uh... L- long time no see. Barbara. Oh, you can't imagine what it's like every time the doorbell rings and it's just the kids trick-or-treating. I go to the door, hoping he'll be there. Where is my husband? Is he even alive? Where is my Harvey? The door, if you please, Grundy. Wait here. Joker. Free. Scarecrow. Free. Poison Ivy. Free. Cobblepot. Free. Hatter. Free. Julian Gregory Day. Sorry. How dare he defy me? My own son! Papa. He's going to the gas chamber when I could've... I could've stopped the whole thing! Alberto. The lights. Sophia, I want everybody downstairs now. Yes, Papa. These guys... They're dead and... Smiling. This is bad. Very bad. Trick or treat! <laughs> what is this? What are all you freaks doing in my office? What needs to be done? What the hell is that supposed to mean? How much longer did you think I would let the Falcone family tear Gotham in half? Splitting the city between good and evil. My city. My god. His face. Nice gun. Light. 22 caliber. 
the perfect weapon to kill you with. Do it! <laughs> then we'll decide who gets the city. I'll burn it all down before I let a freak have it. Following Catwoman, whose side are you on? The same side I'm always on. Batman, you took out all the freaks. But again and again, the courts will just send them back to prison or Arkham. They will escape, and we'll have the same problem again and again. Harvey? Harvey's gone. Two-Face is more like it. Don't you think? If you pull that trigger, how are you different from the Roman? Let him go. That's Jim Gordon talking. You know the system doesn't work. That justice can't be decided like the flip of a coin. Two shots to the head. If you ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Papa! Dent, you bastard, I'll... It's finished. What's done is done. I'll kill you! Don't! Sophia! I'll kill... Sophia. Harvey, please. You still believe in Gotham City. You were married here. You want to start a family. If nothing else, think of Gilda. Gilda? Give me the gun, Harvey. Nice try. Uh, uh, Harvey! Harvey! Working late again, Vernon? Who? Oh my god. You have to answer for Harvey Dent. Somebody gave Maroney the acid to throw in Dent's face. Somebody who saw Maroney just before he entered the courtroom. That somebody is you, Vernon Fields, assistant to District Attorney Harvey Dent. You believe in the justice system, don't you, Vernon? You didn't spend all those years in law school for nothing, right? Then you know, justice has two sides, innocent or guilty, like this coin. One side clean, the other side scarred. Please don't kill me, Mr. Dent. See you soon, Bats. I've killed twice tonight. I did what needed to be done. For now. Why? I did what needed to be done! You'll never convince me of that. Harvey! My god, what's happened to you? There won't be any judges to be bribed. No witnesses who will disappear. The Roman is dead, and I killed him. The long Halloween is over. We'll get you help. You're the ones who are gonna need help from now on. Harvey. You betrayed everything you believe in. Not everything. Arrest me, Jim. We'll see how the law and order handle Harvey Dent. One second. Before your blue boys take me away. You both know, don't you? There were two holiday killers. What? What do you think he meant? Two holiday killers. Alberto Falcone confessed to all the killings. He was going to the gas chamber before they stuck him in Arkham. We'll never know for sure, but tonight was Halloween. Harvey Dent killed the Roman with a 22. The last holiday murder. In the end, Harvey Dent was holiday too. Was it worth it? Hmm? The promise we made to bring down the Roman. What it cost us. Harvey. If you're asking me, did the good guys win? Yes. The good guys won, Batman. 
but I won't know if it was worth it for a very long time. Groundhog Day. Ash Wednesday. Secretary's Day. Earth Day. Flag Day. Boxing Day. Calendar Man. Holiday. Gilda. Shh, little guy. Jim? I... I heard you arrested Harvey Dent on the police scanner. I... I'm so sorry, Jim. What... What are you going to do now? What I have to. Continue. I believe in Gotham City. Harvey. Our first Christmas Eve apart. I did what needed to be done. Do you remember? You promised. We would finally have time together. When you didn't have so much work to do. I read your case files about taking serial number off guns and, and how a baby bottle nipple would muffle the sound. How clues are left at murder scenes. And I thought if, if I did that, Batman would think it was someone extraordinary and not me. Not me. I used your hat and coat for a disguise and left those things at the killings. Johnny Vitti was the first. Then again on Thanksgiving, I left the hospital while you slept. And again on Christmas. But when Alberto Falcone was shot on New Year's and you came home late that night, your hair was wet, even though you were wearing a hat. A hat. I found the gun in the basement. You told me it was evidence, but... I knew. You had the same idea as me. You picked up where I left off. So we could have time together. A child. A secret. Let them think it was Alberto. No one will ever find out, because they don't have you to help. You are my Apollo. You can do no wrong. I believe in Harvey Dent. This has been The Long Halloween, a radio noir, starring Terry Southard as Batman, Bruce Wayne, Nick Wolfe as Harvey Dent, Rob Dickerson as James Gordon, Jeremy Brauner as Carmine Falcone, Morgan Vasquez as Selena Kyle, Catwoman, Michael San Gregorio as Calendar Man, Meg Foley as Gilda Dent. John Heath Clark as Sal Maroney, and featuring the voice talents of Annie Pacino, Cody Harris, Veronica Furman, Alyssa Martelli, Jeremy Doyle, Tom O'Halloran, Matt Delhauer, Peter Kendall, Leah Margola, Jared Cardenas, Daniel Rutz, and Julius Johnson. Written by Jeff Loeb. Adapted by Rob Dickerson with Jeremy Doyle.